Well, iPhone 17 Pro Max and it's time to talk about SSDs, flash drive, storage solutions for ProRes RAW and 4K 120, even though that was introduced with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. But I think with the new updates, it's even more important to have a good storage solution because ProRes RAW and OpenGate only works with external memory. Quick note, this video is not sponsored. None of the flash drives, other than the first one I show you in a minute, uh, I bought myself. No brands have any involvement with this. And I have links to everything below and on my kit page. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's start with the first one. This is the OG drive. Basically still my favorite and this is the unit that was sent to me back in the days with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I still use that and it still is my favorite because it is that small, fast, doesn't get too hard and it's basically the first unit that came with that angled cable and this is really essential I think. It's almost as thick as the camera bump and with the on off switch right there this little on off switch just press it for three seconds and it turns off and just press it again and it turned on and so it doesn't really use any battery if you turn it off so it really can stay on your phone it's really nice you just can't charge your phone with this and you can't connect any other accessories like microphone or whatever. The good thing now is that it's also available on Amazon now with the one terabyte version even for a good price so it's not really more expensive than any other SSD or flash drive with that capacity and that speed and that cable. It gets a bit warm but not really too hot. It's all right I think. The only downside is this kind of cable even though it is a good thing to have that a colleague of mine has the same unit and mine as well failed the cable failed so they told me they updated the newer versions with a better cable and i don't have any experience that long with other units uh, other brands and other solutions that also have that kind of cable so i'm not quite sure if it's a brand issue with this specific brand or if it's a issue with that kind of cable because I mean this is a really uh, might be a weak point here but then again it's also essential but then again with this newer version I don't have or had any issues so far so still my recommendation for something that is easy to use small if you need a small in your pocket flash drive unit. Let's talk about other flash drives in that style. So this one is uh, from this brand. I don't really want to try to pronounce it correctly. I bought this. This is the one terabyte version. There's a two terabyte version as well. It comes basically with the same kind of cable. Also has MagSafe. But is quite a bit bigger but still all right. MagSafe is also quite nice. This one doesn't get too warm. It's a little bit slower, but still it's all right and usable with ProRes RAW and 4K 120 um, and still quite comfortable, but it doesn't have any on off switch. That would be nice. There's room there. So maybe in a second version and you don't have any other USB-C connection with this as well. So this one is a bit cheaper than the first one, um, but again, prices can change, um, but still a quite sweet, smooth option, I think. So let's talk about a different kind of flash drive unit. Those are enclosures and you can put in your own NVMe drive, so to speak. Um, USB-C. This one is a normal enclosure, has MagSafe. It's a easy to use, you don't need any tools, so this is nice. 
doesn't come with any heat dissipation but then it, again it is fairly big so to speak and has quite good heat management uh, but then again it's fairly big doesn't come with any cable so usually you can use uh, like those cables as you can see i'm not a fan of this and the magsafe is also not that strong in my opinion but it works as well especially if you have like those ssd modules but a bit big for no extra connections or anything else um yeah it works but nothing to write home about and then there's this enclosure this is the mc100 pro it's also for m.2 drives 2230 style drives but it's not as easy to exchange the m.2 drive in there it has magsafe as well as here you can put on a, another accessory like a fan or whatever power bank even on this and this one also has a usb connection for microphone or whatever and even has a charge port so it comes with this cable but there's an issue with this cable with the iphone 17 pro it doesn't work funny enough i had this for quite a while i tested it with the 15 pro max no issues with this cable that comes with this enclosure funny enough it works with this cable that came with this unit and this unit works with the cable that comes with this unit really strange i emailed the manufacturer but i did not hear back yet it's over a week now so this is an odd issue this drive works with every cable basically just not with <laughs> the cable that comes with the unit and this cable works with any other so really strange really strange anyway so i'm using this cable because that kind of cable is quite essential if you ask me so there we go now because of the usb connections or ports that are on this you actually can connect something like the hollyland and it gets power it works now yeah so this is nice and i mean power bank you could connect this and you get battery power so you can charge this you could do something like this like a magsafe power bank <laughs> connect this right there this is an odd contraption but as you can hear it charges now <laughs> everything so this is uh, really odd and heavy but could work in a rig or whatever so I will test as soon as I get the small rig cage case combination. I will uh, test this contraption if this works. So, yeah, maybe even uh, find a smaller battery bank. So, if there's any update for the cable issue, I have it in a pinned comment and also will make another video about that because this is so far the only smallish version with magsafe with m.2 drives with that cable with this form factor also a quick word on those m.2 drives with the 2230 size or version the max capacity is only two terabyte otherwise this wouldn't work in terms of heat and stuff like that also keep in mind those smaller m.2 drives get a bit hot and sometimes don't sustain the promised 5000 or 6000 in terms of speed but stay sufficient enough most of the time especially in this because this has a nice cooling solution so i did not run in any issues in terms of progress raw recording but keep in mind i only like record like two minutes 10 seconds something like that 
the price with the enclosure and the M.2 drive or flash unit is not really that cheaper than any other comparable product with the same speeds and capacity. The only plus of this unit is the two USB connections if you need them. But in terms of price, mm, uh, yeah, not quite sure. It don't really save that much. Then of course there is this one. This is the most reliable and unique as well because it's a two part solution. This is the flash drive unit itself, comes in one terabyte and two terabyte. You can't really change it yourself. Comes with all kinds of accessories, even with this adapter right there. And it's even smaller. So works by itself, but also has this hub that is integrated, so to speak. With that, you connect it like so. And then you can connect a microphone right there, just like so, and even could charge this unit. This works also quite nice on a bigger rig, if you have like a battery bank or any other USB power source, V-mount for bigger rigs, you can connect everything. It stays on there quite well. But then again, for handheld use, hmm, not so much, I think. So this one is the same form factor, but has an integrated hub itself. So basically has the same capacity and capabilities than the Lexa, but works by itself. So there you go. This goes for the microphone right there. And also can be charged one terabyte version it's a bit harder to get and i made a specific video about this unit i have a link here so this one i use the most because it's a reliable fast stays on there quite safely and the Alexa one works too but this one is sleeker especially with this case it gets a bit warmer as well like the Alexa one if i use something like an nd filter like this all the other MagSafe options don't really work anymore. So this one is the solution I use most of the time if I have an ND filter on there, I want to connect a microphone as well, put it in like a case like this. So this is for my bigger rigs. This is how I use that. And the small rig cage because I don't have the bigger cage system yet and especially with the ND filter, this is a bit trickier to use. So yeah, this is basically my bigger rig if needed. Pretty nice and sweet. Works perfectly like that. Really nice. I also can have an adapter here with a power bank like so and then connect it to power really nice right so two more left and those are a bit more exotic so to speak this one is basically the original version to put on a normal ssd with a magsafe but those are like 3d printed enclosures or holders with magsafe and you just put in your ssd right there stays in there small little cable and then this one just works with MagSafe. And then right there, this is quite smooth and small as well. They really work the best, of course. Don't get too hard, have the drive speeds. But yeah, again, with this looped cable, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, yeah, it works, kind of like a little handle here. So. Uh, not too bad, I think. So yeah, this is still an option, especially if you have lots of those drives laying around. I have links to a few of those MagSafe options here and it's really all right. So yeah, this is also a solid solution. And then there's this one, and this is just one part of it. This is basically the enclosure for an M.2 drive like this one. Again, 
those small little ones only come with two terabytes but in this one you can't fit even eight terabyte versions because it supports basically every size of m.2 drive there is i happen to have those and it comes with its own cooling solution this one really doesn't get too hot and it's basically usable by its own it's make safe as well so it works quite okay it comes with this cable which is all right and also has an integrated hub so you can charge and also connect a microphone and it's part of a bigger rig system so to speak so it's part of this hand grip thingy so you just connect it like this and then you connect your phone this one and sadly it's right on the camera control button which i don't really like to use anyways and you have a bluetooth button right there and then you connect this one sadly there's no magsafe here so you can't really connect in battery this is the only downside i think if this would be magsafe as well i mean it would be a bit awkward but could be an interesting solution or have this crib be a battery and charge i'm not quite sure if this actually works but it could charge the phone and power the drive yeah i'm not quite sure maybe uh free well make this an update um, because this is quite nice. It has an Arca Swiss here, even though the cable gets in the way. And then again, if you have like filters or whatever. Yeah, so this is interesting. So yeah, if you want, I make a full hands-on video about this crib right there. And also Freewell sent me this case and a new filter and a new anamorphic lens. And I will make a video about that in the coming weeks as well. Uh, but again, I will use it for a while to see how it works. So I will get you first hands-on experience, so to speak. But yeah, this is an interesting solution. Not sure about it yet. But overall, I like the concept. Again, all the drives I showed you today are usable with ProS RAW. I showed you all my options and favorites. And for the most part, they all work without any issues other than heat. I also quickly tested those kind of flash drive sticks. They work somehow and with those adapters here, they kind of are usable but uh, with those you really with the cheaper ones like this one from transcend it's fine but over time they get really hot and stop recording because the speed really goes down there are more expensive ones from kensington i think they they should work but it's not a form factor that i really like Anyways, if you have any questions about this or have any solutions that you want to share, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Lots more content coming in the next few weeks. And since it's really late now, what time it is? Oh, not back to work, uh, back to home or back to sleep. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Good night and good luck.